Hello, I thought I would pull out some of my cameras. Um, these two are um, Polaroid Instant, uh, uh, they're land cameras. So these were made in the, um, mainly in the 80s um, and early, early 90s, I believe. But these are two from um, the 80s. One of these is made in the UK and the other one's made in the US. Um, this one's actually missing its little rubber eyepiece and they're really hard to find if you want to replace it. Um, you could pop them off. This one uh, says made in, in the United Kingdom, right here. And it has sort of a permanent strap attached to it like they, most of them did. Um, this one does not have a tripod mount, whereas this one does. Uh, which is kind of odd. It has the piece there, but it, it's plastic. It won't do anything. This one, I've actually used it a couple years ago. Um, there, before there was, there's now, um, you can get Polaroid film. They're making it again, the 600 film, but there was something called the Project, I forget what it is, but I don't think it's out anymore, Project, Polaroid Project or something. Um, this is a Polaroid Spirit 600. Um, it's kind of plain. It's probably one of the cheaper ones that were out there. Both of these were. Um, so you had the built-in flash. You had the, um, you could sort of move this to, if you needed your, the picture darker or lighter. Um, they always said they had a light management system here. Um, and the one thing I remember playing with is if you don't want the flash to go off, you just push the button here. If you wanted the flash to go off, you push button on the outside and then here you had the exposure usually it was usually 10 in in the cartridge and the cartridge actually had the battery built in so I'm going to open this up I'm pushing that and see here it has the uh, sort of the serial number and the Polaroid 600 and it would slide in there and as soon as you closed the, um, the door it would go and spit out a piece of paper um, and let you know that it's fully loaded and it's loaded properly. It's kind of foolproof as far as loading the film, as far as taking the pictures, and that's another thing because um, my experience with it is you need to be very still. If you're shaky, you got blurry uh, photos, there really needs to be good light. If you don't have good light, this little compensator here doesn't, doesn't really do anything. Um, it, it tries to help you, but um, like this one, the light management system, there's a little green button here. If the camera thinks that it's going to be um, a good exposed uh, film, the light will turn green. If it's not green, it suggests you don't, you don't um, take it. The cool thing is, uh, with these, usually the square is what you see and what you get uh, when you look through the, the camera. So this is the one that was made in the UK. So, and this one is a Polaroid 640. Um, this one has the that beautiful um, Polaroid logo, and it's the land camera. This is a Polaroid 600 land camera, but it says it's the 640 model here. Again, we have that little light um, thing. We do not have a button to show exposure there. We have um, the number of film in there and the inside looks pretty much identical with the 600 we got the, the serial number there this one says for assistance call and there's a number and it says made in the USA right there but not on the back the back is actually plain or the other one said made in the UK this one doesn't and this one I believe um, I think you could see something underneath there. I forget what that was. It's been a while. This one works the same exact way. You don't want to use the flash. You push it there, push that in. Um, they have a built-in flash, and the flash is by default on because you need a lot of, of light. Um, but these are notorious for like red eye and really not <laughs> taking the best pictures. It's more like a nostalgia thing if you want to use these. Uh, again, um, 
mainly it was like, you know, you take it to a party or take it something just so you can have fun and see the pictures as they come out. Um, these are both, you can actually get, still buy um, used Polaroid cameras. Usually they, they start at about 100 and they go up from there. Um, but these are the pretty, pretty basic ones. I think I got one for my birthday once. They retailed for anywhere between 20 and $25 when they were being made. Um, and now, of course, they, they're worth much more. And there were special editions that came out. I remember the MTV one. I wanted that one. That was towards the end of when they were being made. I thought I'd just show these to everyone because um, they have their own charm, even though they're all plastic and sort of, they're more collectible now than known for you know, their good film um, capability. Anyway, thanks for watching.